Right after Abu Sufyan left Medina, the Prophet Muhammad turned to his wife Aisha and said, Make preparations for the road, but keep it secret. He was going to go to Mecca, but didn't want any bloodshed. He planned to surprise them and catch them off guard. Now, Muhajirun, the immigrants, were going to return to their homes, their relatives, their homeland, and most importantly, the Kaaba. The Prophet was sending envoys to all directions and spreading the news. All those who believe in Allah and His Messenger should be ready in Medina by the month of Ramadan. Everyone who had become a Muslim to that day had responded to the invitation of the Prophet Muhammad and had run to Medina. It was the first days of Ramadan. Around the Prophet Muhammad was an army of 10,000 people made up of the Ansar, the Muhajirun, and the other tribes. As they made their way on the road, people kept joining them. The companions didn't know of the destination of the campaign until they were ordered to change their direction toward Mecca. When they approached this holy city, the Prophet ordered that each member of the army should light a fire. The Meccans had been left nothing to do other than surrender. Abu Sufyan, who had been invited by the Prophet Muhammad to see the Muslim army, also advised the Meccans to surrender without offering any resistance. It was Abu Sufyan who brought the first news to the Meccans and spoke about the assurance that the Prophet Muhammad had given. Whoever takes refuge in the house of Abu Sufyan will be protected. Whoever closes his door and seeks refuge in his own home, he too will be protected. The people who had taken refuge in the Kaaba are also secure and they will not be harmed. The Prophet didn't desire any bloodshed. He divided his army into six sections, each of which was to enter Mecca through a different route. He ordered the com commanders to avoid bloodshed unless they were attacked. In order to prevent bloodshed and secure a peaceful conquest, he repeated his assurance. Those who shelter in the Kaaba are safe. Those who shelter in the house of Abu Sufyan are safe. And those who remain confined to their houses are also safe. The Prophet proceeded toward the Kaaba in utmost modesty and absolute gratitude to God. He stopped at the Kaaba and asked those who assembled there, How do you expect me to treat you? You are a noble man, the son of a noble man, they answered. The Prophet Muhammad concluded, La tathrib alaykum al yawm antum al This day no reproach shall be on you. God will forgive you. He is the most merciful of the merciful. You can go away. This marked the end of polytheism in Mecca. While he was destroying the idols in Kaaba one after the other, he recited the passage. The truth has come and falsehood has vanished. Surely falsehood is ever bound to vanish by its very nature.